my channel. I'm Zara, for those of you who don't know me. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever. <laughs> Today I have a very, very fun and very simple tutorial for you, which is so in beginner appropriate. Um, and if you're a bit like me and since Corona you live in your pyjamas, you may find that it's time for a new pair of pants and I thought why not make them myself. So today I have a tutorial on how you can do your own very comfortable, super extra, beautiful bell bottom velvet pants. If you're a sewing beginner or you never worked with velvet fabrics before, please make sure to check out the description box. I put uh, some tips and tricks there on how to tackle this fabric because velvet can be a bitch, is a bitch, big time. And yeah, since I'm new here on YouTube, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. To start with, I took an old pair of pants um, as a guidance for my pattern and I laid my pants flat on a piece of paper. I'm using here parchment paper, but you can use whatever you have at hand, leftover wrapping paper from Christmas or yeah, whatever. And um, I'm basically just mapping out the shape of my pants. I made sure beforehand that my pants I'm using for my pattern have a similar stretch to the fabric as my velvet fabric that's very important so this is why i don't add a seam allowance here and what you want to make sure of is that you trace a pattern from the back of your pants and the front of your pants because usually pants are longer in the back to cover your butt and um, are therefore shorter in the front so make sure you make two patterns that's very important After that you should be left with something that looks like this and as you can see the front is shorter than the back and yeah I just cut out my pattern and after that I fold my fabric left or wrong sides facing each other that's very important and then I also pinned my pattern to the fabric um, to avoid that the fabric will move and slip when I'm cutting it. that I went ahead and pinned my two front pieces in place. When working with velvet you want to make sure that you pin everything super securely in place otherwise the fabric will move like crazy and that will leave you with a nervous breakdown so we don't want that. And then very carefully and very slowly sort everything with a zigzag stitch together um, because I don't have an overlock and velvet is a stretchy fabric so you want to make sure to use a stretch stitch which a zigzag stitch is and after that I also cleaned up my raw edges also with a zigzag stitch. Next up I pinned and sewed the outer edges of my legs. After that I went ahead and closed the inner part of my legs and for that um, I made sure that my crotch seams are perfectly aligned um, otherwise you will have I don't know a wonky crotch and I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Next 
Next up is the waistband and I'm here cutting my elastic which is exactly um, as long as my waist circumference measurement. <laughs> And then I used the elastic as guidance for my waistband fabric piece and here I folded it once and cut it and pinned it to my trousers, uh, right sides facing and then sewed everything together. And then I went in, um, followed my waistband in half to create a tunnel for my elastic. After that was done I took a safety pin to put my elastic all the way through the tunnel, sewed the ends of my elastic together and also closed the hole in my waistband. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that I also filmed um, how I hemmed my pant legs. But somehow the footage disappeared, it vanished and I just want to let you know that I also, of course, roll hemmed my pant legs. But yeah, honeys, after you close the hole in your waistband, you're done, you survive working with, with velvet and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations and now enjoy your cute pants. <laughs>